Hey guys, it's the Bearded Bride Popper here on a Wednesday evening. It is 10.35 and uh, today I'm just going to be loading my pipe up real fast. Uh, I figured I'd start my video off in here loading my pipe and then we'll head on outside um, and uh, light her up and get the smoke in that pipe. By the way, I'm smoking uh, Mississippi River. Um, and I'll be smoking it through my um, uh, Winslow uh, Dublin handcrafted uh, Winslow crown by the way I should have said that anyway I'm going to load this up and uh, we'll head on outside guys it's the bearded broad piper and i'm back outside getting ready to light this up uh packed it up as you all could see and uh yeah let's get this thing lit <clears throat> uh hope your all's day has went good um, mine has uh, today was overcast but it was still nice out uh, very enjoyable uh, and uh, no rain but uh, like I said it was overcast uh, right now it looks like it's cleared up I can see the stars out um, it's a little cool right now but I mean it's tolerable I like coolness so Yeah, today I uh, once again was in the wash bay, uh, uh, washing equipment, uh, taking it apart and stuff. So I was getting wet regardless of it not raining or not. But I ended up leaving today early to go talk to some people at the bank. Um, and uh, I had to go talk to more people about 27 minutes away from where I'm at. About some business and stuff. Uh, but on the way home, I this evening back from where I was at uh, got a horrible headache and uh, I don't know it just hit me like a ton of bricks got home took some time and then all of a sudden I just uh, I was ridiculous it just came over me like nothing I got really 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 tired uh, I don't know what happened I just felt like all of a sudden I felt like a ton of bricks hit me uh, Made the mistake and laid down on my bed, fell asleep, and I slept from probably f f 
close to 3.30 to 8.40, close to almost 9 o'clock. So I'm hoping I'll sleep good tonight. I think I will. I'm still pretty wore out. It's crazy how that just comes upon you sometimes. Like I felt just fine and then all of a sudden it's like your body just... It's like, hey, I'm tired. And then boom, hit me. And I was just like, whoa. So yeah, I woke up. Uh, went out and got me some dinner from Culver's. Uh, had me some french fries and uh, some chicken selects and uh, nice large unsweet tea um, got home turned on the TV hooked up a YouTube on it uh, and what caught up got myself caught up on some YouTube uh, pop smoker videos I can't remember them so I wrote them down uh, yeah, I caught up with uh, some of Stogie Farts videos and watching some of Woody's 76 videos, uh, Queen of the Cobbs. Uh, I like watching her videos. Nomad Piper 69, the guy that Grandpa Bones uh, uh, has purchased uh, elk antler pipes from. And... Uh, yeah, I've been watching his videos also, and uh, uh, the Chim Wiz, the Chim Wiz, um, a guy actually here from Missouri too, uh, actually uh, ridiculously close to where I'm from. Uh, uh, I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri, so uh, yeah, uh, I work probably a good, where I work, I work pretty 35 minutes away from him where, where he's at um, and I also have been watching that Appalachian X-Men videos uh, probably after this video I'm gonna do some of my editing on this and gonna sit down and finish his videos also I enjoy watching his videos he's a pretty cool dude I think he's from Virginia uh, but yeah I like the fact that he uh, so far, what I've watched, you know, refurbishes and reconditions old axes and stuff. That's awesome. My friend, Outdoors Dude, he does that stuff all the time. He's actually in the middle of uh, redoing, or he just got done redoing a big, huge, old school sledgehammer. Uh, he's always picking up tools, too, which is cool. But yeah, those axes, uh, one of the axes he said he shipped cross seas to his cousin in the army uh, look pretty cool <clears throat> also I got me a bush of light I haven't cracked open yet let's crack that open <coughs> I've, been <coughs> I've been dealing with some uh, uh, I think allergies I think that might be what caused my headache my throat's a little scratchy and uh, um, my ears are kind of they're always stopped up feeling because uh, I'm deaf but they were kind of itchy today too so uh, yeah cheers So overall, my evening's been a lot of sleeping. <laughs> um, that or watching YouTube videos, nothing wrong with that. Looks like we got a little scooter putting his way up the hill right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a little noisy here, so I'm gonna relight this pipe. same scooter that drives by here like 60 times a day sometimes the guy uh, has like th two other people on the sinking thing that poor scooter has a struggle getting up this hill this hill's huge so yeah it's kind of interesting seeing that
unfortunately, uh, I was in the city uh, I went to today. Um, uh, forgot to stop by a pipe shop, a uh, tobacco shop. Um, unfortunately, I forgot about that. And, uh, I was kind of mad at myself by the time I got home. I just remembered. I'm like, man, I should have stopped and seen that. Because he has, from what I know, pipes. He carries pipes, and you're allowed to smoke in there. I've mentioned it before in one of my videos. Oh, well, it's not but 27 minutes away from where I'm at. I can always drive back and visit him. That big box of junk is still down there sitting on the... Uh, now it's on the sidewalk. It looks like someone picked it up and uh, placed it on the sidewalk. Uh, by the way, a little update on my numb tongue. That's what I'm calling it now. It just fits it. My numb tongue. Uh, <clears throat> I talked to a nurse in the doctor's office. Uh, the doctor that performed the surgery. Um, and asked what you know could have caused it. What it's from. Because it happened you know, from the surgery. So, uh, uh, you know, she said it could be that... Uh, they stick a tube down your throat for breathing, I think. And uh, what happens is it sits on a nerve or presses on a nerve, certain nerve in your tongue. And, you know, of course, I think it was 15 minute surgery. So 15 minutes of that just pressing on that nerve uh, makes you you know, it made my tongue go numb on the left side. It's very annoying. Um, it's like when your foot goes to sleep and you get those thousands of needles. Uh, similar to that on the tip of my tongue. When I'm back, it's just numb. So, yeah. That uh, <clears throat> no man pipe uh, Piper sixty nine. Uh, I think I said that correctly. No man Piper sixty nine. Um, those pipes are really cool. I'm actually thinking about getting a hold of him. Uh, I know Grandpa Bone has purchased two of them from him, and I really like the looks of them. So I figured I'd purchase some from him. Um, it's kind of cool that uh, to see those because it, it shows a way of utilizing those uh, sheds from elk. And I don't know if he—I believe he does white tail. Just another use for him. Um, I always just. Uh, well, I don't, but my friends uh, that do a lot of shed hunting, I've been shed hunting before. I've only found a few sheds uh, in my lifetime. Um, a lot of my sheds I found were sh sheds with skulls still on them that the deer got old and died or came up with a disease or something. We still had the antlers on the horn or the skull. But anyway, yeah, they use them for chandelier, decorate decor, um, table decor. There's so many uses you can get out of them. Obviously, no man, uh, Piper 69, is making pipes out of uh, elk, antler sheds. So, yeah. <clears throat> I was looking also online today uh, on break time at work um, 
at different types of wood you know you can make pipes out of I know the the best is, is really briar but I mean there's so many other woods you can use uh, strawberry I think I looked at uh, rosewood hickory oak cherry uh, olive Anyway, I looked at a whole bunch of those and that, at the prices and stuff. And, uh, I might purchase some of a variety of them to, uh, when I start to uh, make my pipes. Uh, uh, I'm going to use a variety of different woods. Of course, I'm going to order a whole bunch of briar tea. Pear wood is one of them, too, also. I have a pair of wood pipe, uh, miss my Mr. Brog Viking, and it smokes just a fine. Uh, I can never tell a di difference in the, between a briar and a, a pair of wood, for instance, but I can always tell a difference. Mr. Spider, get out of my beer. Little tiny spider crawling around in my can here. Uh, I think I just drank them. But, you know, for instance, I can, though, I can always tell a difference with, between a corn cob and a briar. There is a little difference I could tell. Corn cobs are just a, you know, a, a nice, clean, organic smoke. Because uh, I, I like smoking through a corn cob pipe just for that. Uh, you can taste the tobacco um, a lot wet, better. <clears throat> I was looking at this pipe before I came out here after loading it, and uh, I need to do a nice thorough clean on it, and uh, I clean my pipes after every smoke it regardless anyway, but I need to polish it because the finish on this is more of a shiny, you can see the shine on it, and it uh, need us a uh, little shined up, a little bit more buffed. I'm not really sure what to use on it. I will do a little research on that. Having difficulties keeping that lit. Last night I made a ridiculously long video, so. I just lost track of looking at the time of my video, just gapping and talking. There's days that when I make these videos, you know, and I'm talking, uh, I'm obviously, I'm talking to you all, but in reality, I'm talking to myself. But yeah, there's times I just wish, you know, I'm a talker, I'll, I'll talk, 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 talk. And I uh, wish I could have all you guys here sitting on a big old porch. Uh, we all smoking a pipe, talking. And uh, yeah, that'd be cool. That's the third cop that drove by. Uh, something must be going down because they keep turning down on down there by where the apartments are. Actually, the other night, I think that was last night, that girl that screamed. I never heard anything from that, but it still bothered me. I thought about it all throughout the night. I should should have called someone bad up I never heard anything else so anyhow yeah today was a nice one
Uh. Yeah, I, uh. This weekend. Might be having, uh. Of course, the outdoors dude might stop by and, uh, visit on Friday night. Like he always does. And, uh. But I also think this weekend my friend Cameron that you all have seen that was in the video when I went down to the river last uh, Saturday or this last Saturday, yeah. He might be coming down again. He kind of wants to bring his younger brother. I'm not sure if that happening yet because. Uh, I do live in a, a kind of small apartment, so I don't really have many places for him to, to sleep, so he might be just coming down. I, uh, another reason he wants to bring his little brother down is, uh, um, I should say little brother, he's 18, but he wants to bring him down because uh, the town they live in is just nothing to do and they both don't have vehicles unfortunately uh, I believe Cameron he's in the middle of getting raided by a, um, Impala so he, a lot of his paychecks have been going towards uh, buying that car so yeah so I don't know yeah. But the reason they want to come down most of these is play on the PS4. Um, I don't play video games that much. Uh, crap, I'm at 20 minutes again. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I'm going to make that real quick. I don't play much video games. Uh, I do have a PS4. I do play some video games on rainy days. And like uh, when. I, I just find the time to sit down to do it. I'd rather much be outside doing stuff. But, um, yeah, they like to play on it when they come down here. They don't have one, so, um, uh, it kind of makes their day and it kind of makes their weekend, so, uh, more jo enjoyable. I should have brought one of my pipe, uh, cleaners out here to soak up some of the, um, gurgle. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, I should have turned my phone around and caught that on video. Man, there's a car passing a car on this road, uh, which is dangerous. Uh, but anyway, it's the Bearded Bride Popper here signing out and uh, hoping you all had a good evening and hope your day tomorrow is uh, good. Um, remember keep smoking your pipes or cigars and uh, have a good one